the Mary Magdalene lineage by Rina Kumasaran Kuma Rainsingham. Exactly the simplest thing to say. <laughs> Past life journeys into the sacred feminine, feminine mysteries. So it's sort of a conversation interview um, mixed with information. So like you do get some conversation mixed with the information um, of Um, what was I saying now? Um, so you get like her life, um, her life with Jesus, crucifixion, like his cru crucifixion, and her life after. Um, kids as well. So you do get um, some books of off information with other like bits of history, biography of her. Um, it's a past life regression experience, so, um, so to some, to some people, it's like how true, if at all, is this past life really, um, <laughs> or is it just this person making up this life of Mary, so, there's going to be people that are going to be like, nope, why touch her? <laughs> why come out with this? But other people may find this a good read or um, experience or whatever. Um, you get an intro. Um, kind of like Each chapter is a different like section of her life with a little uh, brief... Um, topic as topics or whatever so um uh, chapter two union mary magdalene's time with jesus their nature the nature of their relationship how her reputation as a prostitute came about and her marriage to jesus or um oh, chapter five gall their decision to leave judah um judea um the trip to gall gall life in gall motherhood and a relationship with her children as they grow. Um, so there's 12 chapters with the intro and conclusion as well. And you get an appendix. So the process of past life regression and addressing issues that skeptics may have. Um, so you do get like three pages of bibliography and some notes and references. Um, so, like, in, like, the intro, um, the Magdalene lineage offers an intimate look into Mary, Mary Magdalene as a woman, not Mary Magdalene the saint, and not Mary Magdalene the sinner. Um, it's not intended to be continuous or offensive it is about illuminating the feminine feminine and spirituality in all her glory by offering a different perspective through two of the most mysterious and enigmatic um women in history um so it's um about this woman named my um Maya. Um, so it's her life regression as Mary. Um, so like you do get some like intro to um, Maya's Mary um, as a six-year-old girl being aware of standing on beautiful spring green grass with mountains in the distance and little village houses dotted around continues on and then um Maya talking um so it goes between um Pam who's like talking to her um and then it all like 
them having a conversation. Um, so it's kind of like a conversation with like a timeline, historical information. Um, so like what she's talking about and like um, background information to like show, okay, this is what's um, going on at that time of what she's talking about and stuff. Um, so it's about her experience and like what, um, like what would been going on. And then so example of like, like the boxed information. So like feminine, feminine sexuality being one, um, balance and equality. Um, so, like, I don't know how I feel about past life regression, so I can't say yay or nay, but for, for, um, people who do have a definite yay or nay about it, you're gonna have a yay or nay, <laughs> you're most likely gonna have that yay or nay with this book um and specifically specifically for people who do um like you marry in one way or another may have a strong opinion about this book but like if you are open-minded to the past life regression experience um You're looking at over 200 pages of stuff, so 230, 240-ish pages of from being a little girl to um, I think it's her death. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, the Magdalene lineage, happy readings.